Cutting tools have long been instrumental in transforming the way we manufacture, shape and transform raw materials into finished products. As industries continue to evolve and seek greater efficiency, precision and sustainability, the cutting tool sector is no exception, experiencing remarkable developments. Hello viewers and welcome to this exciting digital dialogue on hot trends in cutting tools sponsored by Domar Pramit. Today we have gathered some of the brightest minds and industry experts from the world of manufacturing and engineering to shed light on the latest advancements and innovations in cutting tools. So let's welcome Sarath Kulkarni, Sales Director for Asian Market at Doma Pramit, Rahul Inamdar, Vice President Product and Application for Asian Market at Doma Pramit, Manoj Mohikar, who is the Deputy General Manager, Sales and Marketing at Orlikan Valzars Coating India, and Mohammad Arshad, who is the National Application Manager for Hurko India. Mr. Sarath, can you share your comments on the importance of cutting tools in manufacturing and production processes? So then let's understand what are the needs or the emerging needs of the customers in this industry. The other aspect of this is basically we have to you know, partner with, with the machine tool industry. And I think I'm glad that we have a partner here today in the panel who is representing the machine tool industry. In fact, the, there has to be a perfect marriage between the cutting tool and the machine tool. Otherwise, I think we will never be able to meet the needs of the customers. It's important to meet the need of the customer, as I said, and also important to collaborate and partner with the machine tool industry. And that's not driving the whole thing or you know, you know, new developments or the forces that are shaping the cutting tool industry uh, in India today and indeed in the glo global as well. And Mr. Rahul, what's your comments on the importance of cutting tools in manufacturing and production processes? Uh, when it comes to this uh, hot trends, we are talking here about the uh, Industry 4.0, digitalization and all, of course uh, Bluetooth enable uh, things, 3D printing like cutting tools uh, and of course uh, again the grid developments and the, uh, the coating developments and, and so on. So this is what I see uh, shipping the manufacturing. Yep. Mr. Manoj? Uh, I mean the basic uh, core values what we consider is uh, to bring in uh, the most innovative uh, products to ease uh, the life of uh, any industry. I mean, in terms of, say, uh, in the machining areas, to uh, give customers the uh, best productive uh, applications and uh, improve on the cost per component. I mean, to make it more economic. That is basically the uh, vision uh, of uh, only one, and uh, uh, we are we are basically having very strong uh, R and D. So almost every year uh, we have uh, uh, new product launches uh, coming up, uh, which is uh, I mean whatever is my existing product, it improves on that particular product further, and it gives the additional. Uh, productivity related uh, improvements, cost related improvements to the uh, to my customers. Arshad? Uh, normally for uh, uh, whenever we go to any process or uh, to sell the machine, uh, we usually say that, okay, it's not only the machine, which can alone uh, perform and get you an output. It's a combination of machine tools and fixturings and coolants, all those things in which the machine and tools play a very major role. Technology enhancement are happening in the machine and in the in the tooling sector. Okay, both are like that. We go to the next level, then uh, the tooling guys comes to that level, and the tooling goes to the next level of advancement. Then we have to cope up with them. This is how. Yeah, that it has to be passed over also to the customers uh, who are in the market. It should be these kind of sessions will be eye opening for them. Yeah, uh, there are machines with latest technologies, cutting tools with technologies which can bring down the cycle time. It can produce more precise parts. Which can which can be profitable for them. Okay, cycle time reduction, all those things. Uh, if I look at the situation, you know, uh, of the cutting tool industry today, I think today the Indian customer has um, has really evolved in terms of the technology that is using on his shop floor, in the terms of the machine that is using, uh, in terms of the of the the resources, people who are much more you know, in terms of their own understanding, knowledge. Uh, not only on the machine tool side, but also on the cutting tool side, but also on the systems like CAD CAM, I think has 
has has really increased, and you know he is increasing his serving not only the domestic demands but also the but also the global demands. Uh, particularly, last one decade has been a game changer you know, for the overall manufacturing industry. We know that the composition of the GDP of the manufacturing in India was uh, a little over fifteen percent. Uh, we have seen that you know uh, that there has been an increasing investment on the manufacturing side, on the machining side, uh, and I would say that you know in that sense the, uh, there is a uh, the market is very attractive uh, for for the for the uh, for all the local and the global brands. Uh, I think he can get whatever globally. I think service production services you know um, uh, customer gets. I think the same can be now is now is available in India. Uh, Mr. Manoj, uh, I mean, it's nowadays uh, even uh, the demographics of the manufacturing. I mean, it's it's uh, changing a lot. Uh, even if you really see the aerospace industry, I mean, the way aerospace industry is going. In and around uh, India, people are using latest uh, technologies, and uh, this is bringing more and more challenges. Uh, of course, still, uh, I, I mean, uh, there are certain customers, customer bases there, which is still with very old uh, uh, machine setup. It is still running, and at the same time, we also have the latest uh, people using latest technology. And uh, further, in addition to that, uh, whatever uh, 3C related uh, industry which is coming up, like uh, the uh, mobile handset manufacturing, or that itself is going to bring the whole lot of uh, new kind of uh, application areas. The growth will be, I mean, it will be tremendous uh, exponential growth. Mr. Swadhar, you are uh, talking about uh, government initiatives. Uh, are initiatives like uh, Make in India and uh, you know, Atmanirbhar Bharat, are these really delivering on ground? Yes, Subhajit, I think I believe so, that I think these are initiatives that are delivering on ground. Uh, yes, I think there is a boost to the automotive industry. As my co panelists said, that you know, aerospace industry is a sunrise industry for in India. So, with the booming, you know, or the third biggest civilian, you know, market we have, this is commercial, you know, civilian market that we have got in India. The other part which I didn't mention was basically, you know, geopolitics. I mean, if we were talking, you know, so we did something like three, four years, we would have talked about globalization. But now things have changed. Now we are talking about geopolitics. Geopolitics is also reorienting of the supply chains, which means that some of the industries are uh, shifting from uh, traditionally, you know, from China to some other markets like Vietnam, Indonesia, India, Mexico. So, uh, you know, so the Indian market could be, you know, a beneficiary of this trend, definitely. Uh, but it also depends upon how we embrace some of these principles of manufacturing, global best practices, and make sure that, you know, are basically initiated by the government, but there is other thing that the industry has to play its role as well. In this. The cutting tools industry in India is poised for growth due to the increasing demand from various end-user industries and the focus on advanced manufacturing processes. With technological advancements and supportive government policies, the industry is expected to witness further expansion in the coming years. With that, we conclude today's session of Digital Dialogue on Hot Trends in Cutting Tools sponsored by Domar Pramit. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon.